good win for us under the circumstances being down by eight at halftime. Irvine played a terrific game, especially in the first half, but we didn't. Uh, but our second half defense, our players did a great job. And we're proud of them. And, and hopefully they can see when we defend at that level, uh, we're a pretty good basketball team. It was kind of a struggle there in the first half, Coach. Was there any aspect of being ranked in the top 10 that sort of, I don't know, caused you guys to take them for granted in the no, we didn't take this team lightly at all, and we made the point after uh, our game on Sunday, you know, we had so many turnovers and just just didn't look like the same team at, at stretches in that game. We came out ready to play tonight. We took a 12-2 lead, I believe, uh, and then they hit three threes in a row on us, and, and uh, our offense, we turned the ball over eight times in the first half, gave up a few offensive rebounds, weren't getting any ball movement, and, and then defensively, we just didn't look like a uh, an elite defensive team like we have been. So. Uh, we made some adjustments at halftime, and it was really on the players. They they uh, uh, they came out the second half and defended uh, like we have the last couple of years. What are some of the things you can help work out with your fast break? I know you had ten fast break points to zero for them, but there's also the steals where you get nothing out of it. Well, we had about four or five opportunities in the second half where it was a, it was a, we we finally came back and we had a chance to take the lead and extend it, and, and I think we went zero for four on. Three on two. We had a two on one, a three on one, a two on three on two, a four on three. And that is frustrating because you can drill all that as, as much as you can, but when you every fast break is different, the, the positions. But our some of our players we're, we're disappointed in because they need to make smarter decisions and, and give the ball up earlier, or don't give it up so early and, and keep the dribble until you truly have an advantage. And, and so we'll keep working on it. But a lot of that is uh, just a feel for the game and. and uh, Unfortunately, some of our guys did not do a very good job tonight. Uh, we're confident that they can improve on that here coming up. Coach Chavez, it looked like, you know, had kind of a slow start to this game. You pulled him early for Josh Morgan, it looked like. And then the second half, you know, he was just really dominant. Can you, you know, speak about what kind of changed for him there in, in that second half? To kind of we started out, missed, he missed two uh, jump hooks from three or four feet, and then he turned the ball over. And his guy scored three times, so we took him out. Joshua came in and did a great job for us in the first half. Uh, and then Chavez, went, when the second half started, he was ready to play. And uh, he, uh, he was dominant. His first step has really improved his footwork. He can make shots with his right and left hand now. And it has become a, just a complete basketball player at that position. We're very proud of him. But we have a long season left, and uh, we, we're, we will need more efforts like this. She and Isaiah combined for 45 of your 66 points on a night where Max didn't have his best night, Drew didn't have his best night. What can you say about the way those two sort of just took over and propelled you guys? Well, the nights that our big guys haven't played well, our guards have played well. That's why we're 11-0. and 0. Uh, Tonight, our guards didn't shoot the ball well. If you look at our four guards that played a lot, Reese, fifth, five guards, uh, uh, the percentages aren't very good. Uh, that happens. And I was proud of Boogie Ellis because he really ran our team in the second half like a true lead guard does. And Ethan, Ethan gave us great minutes like defensively. Uh, but Boogie didn't force things. He, he, uh, he defended at a high level. Uh, and I thought, even though he only had four shot attempts, I was very proud of his, uh, uh, the way he ran our team. And, and uh, uh, we just need uh, some of our wing players and other guards to make some shots. Talk about Chavez's first step. Talk about it out there a little bit, too. How do you improve that? What, what goes into that? And what does that first step uh, enable him to do a little bit differently maybe this year? Well, I give uh, Curtis Schultz, our strength coach, a ton of credit because Chavez worked so hard. His, uh, his quickness has improved. His strength, he's leaner this year with his body. He just, he just looks quicker and he is quicker. And then Coach Mobley and, and our staff have worked really hard with uh, his skill sets, how, how to score facing up, how to score back to the basket, use your right, your left hand read the defense, feel the defense, spin off of it, et cetera, and he's become very good at that. Now, the, the most of the credit goes to Chavez because he spent so much time he, he, in, in the off season, during the season, he works on his game. And what you see here is uh, uh, an incredibly improved player uh, from last year. And, and uh, this is the second year with us. And so we're very proud of his work ethic. He, he uh, is one of the hardest workers we've ever coached uh, every day in practice uh, on his own. And he has a passion to, for, for the game of basketball. And, and to, to improve like that, you have to have that passion. And, and I think you see it every time he steps on the court. How important is it for you guys to play these you know, super tight games like this one, like against Washington State? When you, I mean, I'm sure you'd like to win by 30, but when you get into you know, the thick of Pac-12 play, 
Pac-12 tournament, March Madness, things like that. How, how, how important is it to play these type of games? And what can you say about you know the kind of art and grit that your team has shown? Yeah, I think you do need uh, you need to be challenged. And Irvine is a very good basketball team. We knew that they have great size. They have uh, Welp as an elite scorer at his position. They have good three-point shooting. So, and they're very good defensively. Uh, so, so we knew when we scheduled this game that this was going to be a tough game, um, and it was. Uh, but uh, we've had a few close games this year. Uh, we, we won a couple games on the road, uh, neutral site games that were were physical, and then at home here. Uh, so uh, I, I think we are ready for a conference to start, even though we already played two conference games. And one of those, like you said, at Washington State was a one-possession game, and, and we, we uh, were able to make plays down in the last 30 seconds to win it. So. Uh, if you look at over a 31 game schedule, your team's not going to play their best every single game. There's always four or five games you probably play great, and a few games you don't play well at all, and then uh, it's really that in between uh, whether you have a, a good season or not. And, it, and I think tonight was one of those games where we didn't we didn't play our best, but we we uh, brought our defense in the second half and helped us win the game. Russell, so Turner seemed to think he liked to say lost the game on the boards in the second half. How much of that was a conversation at halftime? Did you hear why? Yeah, we only had uh, three or four offensive rebounds in the first half. We missed a lot of shots. And, and so I thought, uh, uh, if you look, Isaiah had five. She, Isaiah went out of his area three times in the second half, and Chavez went out of, to, to get it. Max went out of his area and got that big offensive rebound. And that's what we need. Uh, we're athletic. We're, 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 um, our bigs are, are very quick. And um, that was a huge advantage for us uh, because they're just as big as us in their front line. Uh, but I thought our guys really played hard, especially in the second half. With them having as big of a front line, did you feel like Chavez and Isaiah took it as a challenge to win the front line? You don't have to ask them, but uh, <laughs> they both of them played uh, very well. What's your biggest takeaway from this three-game home stretch where you probably didn't play your best in any of the three games, but you come away with three wins? Well, well I think this game will, will help us because being down eight at halftime and then coming out and defending at the level that we need to defend at. And our players, I think, came together and realized that uh, they have to do it as a team. Uh, so I think we will get some benefit out of this close game, especially being down so much at half. We haven't been down by eight at halftime all season. Uh, so this was the first time, uh, and I think they were up by 10. So this was our first comeback by 10 or more being down. And, and uh, I can remember four years ago, we were out of our 26 wins, we were down double digits, 13 out of our 26 wins. So we're hoping this team isn't like that, but uh, it is nice to know that uh, players can come together and, and uh, they're not out of a game if, if they get down a little bit. Two warm up for Coach. How do you see this team kind of coming together? You talked about how they kind of took that responsibility. You mentioned it out there. You said at halftime your sweep was pretty short. Um, you kind of put it on them. How is this group, you know, adding those new pieces coming together for you? We have a lot of maturity on the team, and, and I think if, if we keep realizing it's, it's not about individual statistics it's about what can you do to help your team win and, and I thought the second half like I, I mentioned Boogie Ellis he, he wasn't he, he ran our team he did a great job of running our team and, and that's a big step for him because he, he he's trying to be a true lead guard I thought he did an outstanding job he, he played great defense he ran the team he got people where he needed to be uh, and everybody just came together and it was all about winning and, and, uh, and, and uh, if you look at uh, our big guys, they, they're the ones that carried the load offensively because our guards had off shooting nights. But, but it was fun to watch everybody on the court just care about winning. And, and uh, so, so that's the biggest takeaway. We have that, we have that in us. Uh, when we don't play as well as we can offensively, if they just care about winning and making winning plays, uh, I, I think we'll be a pretty good team. Thank you, Ian.